Let's look at Google Sheets on the iPad. You'll notice, much like Google Docs, it's laid out a little bit differently than on a computer, and the functionality is a little bit different. So we're going to talk about just some basics today. Up here in the upper left is where you can switch accounts if you have more than one account. Anything that you have marked starred because it's important will show up here under starred. Anything that someone else created and shared with you is here. So those are the biggies. To create a new one, I'm going to come down here to the plus, and just like Google Docs, I can either pick a template to start with or a new sheet. So I'll do a new spreadsheet, and I'll title it, and say Create. With a spreadsheet, it's actually a full workbook with many sheets. If I come down here to where it says Sheet 1, that's what I'm actively working on. If I go to the arrow, this is where I can duplicate that sheet. So if I get it set up the way I want to, I can make a copy of it. I can rename it. Or if I come over to the plus, notice it's going to add an additional sheet to my workbook. All right, so let's go back to sheet one and talk about just some basics. To type inside of a cell, if I select it once, notice it gives me an option down here to type a formula, but let's say I wanna type text in there. If I tap twice, my keyboard comes up. So let's say I took a survey of favorite colors. I'm just going to tap each cell and type in it, and I could use the microphone like I could in Google Docs if I wanted to dictate my speech. And let's just throw in some numbers here of people that picked these as their favorite colors, just to get some data in here. Okay, so if I wanted to turn this into um, a table, for example, or a chart, I'm gonna come over here and this check mark means I'm done with what I was doing. And Let's say I wanted to add like a title above this. The plus is where I go to add things. So I'm going to add a row above this. And maybe I'll call this our favorite colors. And of course the title would be capitalized. I failed to do that. I'm going to come over and drag, get that A1 cell at the corner and use this tool right here to merge and center. So what that does is it takes my text, it makes that one cell, and actually if I wanted to center the text I would select the cell and do center here. Let's say I want that font to be bold. I could do the B here. And I also, just like on Docs, have my font choices here under the A. So I could change the size, the text color, the font, the rotation, and all of those things, just like I was working in a Google Doc. The other thing you'll notice when I go here is I have cell options. So I can fill cells with different colors. I can add borders. I can wrap the text, which means if I have a lot to say in a cell, it will wrap around, and I can change the way numbers pop up for me, depending on what I'm looking to do. Also, notice I can come to the plus, and just like Google Docs, I can add images. I can also insert a chart. So let me try that. So I'm going to select the data and insert a chart. So I can change what type of graph I want. Okay, these are the different types I can choose from. So I come back from type, I can go to the legend, and maybe I want that at the top. And if that had a value, it would show up. Let me go back in to edit this, edit the chart. The title I could change. So maybe I wanted 
the left axis is the title. It would update the title for me. I'm going to come back. Change my colors. That's really cool. I can sit here. If I wanted to do some formulas, that would work here too. Notice they're a little bit trickier. So if I wanted a sum of how many people I took a survey of, I could select the cell I want the formula in, come down here, and I could do like I would do on a computer, equals sum. I want it to get the value from B3, then I do a comma to separate all the way down to B5. Hit my check mark and notice it totaled it for me. I'm not going to lie, working with formulas is a little tricky on here. So the three dots, the oh look there's more, this is where you could view any comments, the find and replace, the Explore, which is, if you recall from Google Docs, this is your internet search. One that's new is Create a Filter. There's not much to filter, but you will notice the little filters showed up here. They are the little triangles, and I could decide if I sort A to Z or how I want to sort or filter my data. So that's just a really quick peek at Google Sheets on the iPad.